welcome into another episode of the hunter call of the wild everybody it's been a bit since i've been in this game uh today i plan on just going around seeing how many different types of animals i can get on the new england map i'm going to try to get them all uh i can't guarantee that i'm going to be able to do that uh but we're going to have fun doing it either way so let's go have some fun if you enjoy the content please show me some love and as always, let's get it. All right, here we are in New England, everybody. Welcome in, welcome in. I gotta remember what animals are even on this map. So I can try to get them all. Let's see here. Okay, we have bobwhite quail, we have eastern cottontail rabbit, we have wild turkey, we have golden eye, green winged teal, mallard, ring neck pheasant, common raccoon, coyote, gray fox, red fox, Mexican bobcat, and bobcat, uh, white tailed deer, black bear, and moose. So, my goal is not to get all the birds. I, I don't care if I get all the birds or not. My, my plan is to get all the four legged animals on this game, or on this map today. We'll see how it goes. Let me see where I'm even at. Okay. I have an unlocked cabin that way I can head towards. There you are, Blue. Welcome in. About time you got here, buddy. If I do stumble up on a turkey or the quail or the the duck stuff like that, then you know I'll go ahead and take them. I'm not saying I won't take them. I'm saying my my main goal is to get the four-legged animals on the map, and I do consider turkey as a uh, as a big game animal. Not really like. Oh, there's our first. Make sure it's a buck that I take. Those are small bucks. Two eighty four. He's dead. All right, first one down that knocks the white tailed deer off of it. Well, he's a weird looking feller. See where I hit him, right through the heart. Nice. All right, we'll take it. Off awesome. Deer. You're sure living up to your I reputation. Thought. Come to think of it, my very first hunt on this reserve was also a white-tailed deer. I think I need to cross the river. Yeah, I do to get to that cabin anyway. Might as well cross it here. I don't think I hit him, but you know what? Got a shot at him. Thought I was gonna mark the deer and turkey off that quick.
All right. See what else we can find somewhere. Got a moose, but I'm not gonna count the females. I'm thinking I need to just take males for the challenge. There's a lot better buck than that last one. At least I can get a more legitimate buck for the challenge, right? Instead of that little crappy one I got. I had to flesh this one. Yeah, I fleshed him. Got a little lower than I wanted to. Alright though, because I have another one back this way I've got to track. We got hung up on the rock, blue. There's Lou, buddy. Run, blue, run. Come around the rock. Come on, dude. This is going to get annoying. Well, I hope everybody's doing good today. We have some uh, ice storms coming through tonight. Here in Arkansas. So. Hopefully we don't lose power or anything tonight. Because it's the freezing rain. Freezing rain is sleet, which the sleet I'm not too worried about. The freezing rain is going to be the big problem. Because it gets, uh, you know, piled up on the power lines and stuff. We had a pretty good snow not, a long, not long ago. My main problem is I don't have backup heat put into my house. So if the power goes out... I mean, we really don't have a choice. <laughs> we just kind of got to, you know, figure out a way to stay warm. Because when we bought this house, the house is eight years old. When we bought the house, we decided uh, we're not going to get you know, backup heat because of the cost of the house and everything. And now I'm like, we need backup heat. 
before our power goes Why they didn't, like, build it when they built the house, why they didn't put backup heat in the house, I have no idea. But they didn't, so it's kind of on us. And then, um, my truck, which I love my truck, but the water pump is going out on it. So, we've got to get that fixed, too. Oh, the flesh come too. Ooh, shot him through the antler. Nice. With egg prices as high as they are, I'm kind of upset with my chickens because... They really slow down on laying for the winter, which chickens tend to do. Um, a lot of people, they kind of force their chickens to lay all year long by putting in warmers and artificial lights in the coop and stuff like that. But we don't do that. We kind of like to do everything natural. It feels more, uh, you know, natural for the chickens, you know. Because their body temps are not like ours, you know. Our body temp is 98 degrees. 98 to 99 degrees, somewhere in there. And a chicken's body temperature is 106 degrees. Plus, you put their feathers on that. And they keep themselves pretty warm. And you put several chickens in a small coop. Just the body heat alone. Tends to keep them warm. So if you see somebody that has chickens in a small coop, like a bunch of chickens, and they don't have a heater or natural uh, artificial lighting, don't worry about it. Them chickens are fine. That The inside of that coop stays really nice and warm. Even when it was, we had a wind chill of negative 22 not long ago, and the chicken coop still stayed warm. Alrighty, found it. That. Walked right to it. Wow. <laughs> that works. Hey, flesh left lung. What angle did I go in? A nice, quartering away shot. Not bad, not bad. Okay. I think that counts as white-tailed deer. I think I've harvested, what, three now? So that counts as my white-tailed deer being off the list for sure. And for those of you who don't know me, while we're looking for more animals, I am at this time, which is January 30th, is when I'm recording this, at 5.50 p.m. I am 37 years old. I am married with two kids, a 16-year-old and a 14-year-old. I love to play games. All kinds of survival games. I love simulator games. And I count this as simulator. Because it is a hunting sim. Alright, we got a male moose up that way. Three or four is what I'm looking for, but, you know. Any male moose is what I'll count towards. Having my moose done. But as I was saying, I love to play all kinds of games, mostly simulator, uh, hunting, fishing, mechanic, uh, bus sim. Uh, I do play some role play on GTA 5 and other types of games, but I don't post those a lot. Um, I know y'all see that I have some uh, police simulator episodes up with me and Nightwalker. I plan on keeping that going too. Sometimes I'll have them in the game with me, sometimes I won't. It just depends. I do like to play FPS games also. However, I don't plan on posting those on this channel. I play... Uh, Call of Duty and I play Fortnite a lot with my son. Those types of games I do stream on Twitch. 
And it's the same over there. It's a veteran goose. If y'all would like to watch some streams over there. I am thinking about transitioning to just streaming and uploading to YouTube. I just haven't gotten there yet to deciding. When I do make up my mind, I will let all of y'all know, but as of right now, I'm just uploading to YouTube, recording and uploading to YouTube, and doing the streams on Twitch temporarily, so I can figure out what I really need to do. I just love playing games, and I love having people watch me play games, and just chill and enjoy it, just like, you know, I do, just enjoy viewing it, watching it. I just want to bring y'all along. I'm like, I'm playing games anyway. Might as well record and stream for others to see it also. So that's why I do what I do. I just hope y'all's enjoying the content, the ones that see it. I do hope that y'all subscribe. And like and comment, you know, give me some interactions. I'm here just to pretty much make friends and just be friends. Just share the content and the fun with everybody while I play my skill games on YouTube. By the way, I am planning on working on the second episode of Icarus here pretty quick. If you haven't seen the first episode, you need to go check it out. I really enjoyed that. That was getting uh, the basics done. I got the uh, the fire, the shelter, the water, the, the food. I got everything I needed to get going. I'm having a lot of fun on that game. Hopefully I can get a friend or two to join me on my server on that game. Looks like we're in for a pretty good walk. Alright though, we'll see some animals along the way. Talk off the list. There's a rabbit. Knock that off the list. It is a male. The silver. Nice. There we go. Hey everybody, don't forget, if you have any suggestions of games for me to play or anything like that, or, you know, you just want to say hey, you know, just take a couple seconds, leave a comment, you know. Not to, not to help me, like, progress through YouTube or anything like that, but just to say hi. I just, I like talking to people. I'll say hi back. I'll answer any questions that you have. I love to talk. I know you can't tell in some of my videos because I get so into the game I forget to talk sometimes. I am trying to work on that though. That's kind of like 
that's kind of the reason that I like to play multiplayer, like with friends and stuff, because it gives me somebody to talk to and stuff to kind of keep y'all from getting bored and everything like that, because I get so focused on games sometimes that I forget to talk. <laughs> I just appreciate it. Everybody taking the most precious thing that you have, which is time out of your lives to come in and view. And be like, hey, what's up? How you doing, Goose? You know, stuff like that. Some of my friends you may see on some of my episodes with me will be Nightwalker, of course. He's already been on a few of my episodes. I also have a friend called John McBond, which is an awesome YouTuber and streamer. I have a really good friend named Metal Bomb that will probably be on some of my videos in the future. I have a really good big circle of friends that'll be coming in and playing. And say it would be a whole lot for some of them because they all have different uh, style games they like to play. Uh, John McVaughn, he's a variety gamer, but like me, but he focuses more on the fighter slash RPG style games. I have some friends that are very, very, very competitive players. And I'm more of the laid back out of all of us. There's only a bronze, but... I mean, that's a black bear. I'm thinking about, honestly, picking up Firefighter Simulator. It looks like it would be really fun to play and record. I have no idea what I'm doing on it, of course, because I've never played it. But I am thinking about picking it up. And giving it a whirl. I already played Police Simulator Patrol Officers with Nightwalker. Uh, the first episode that I posted on here was of me soloing, just writing some traffic violations, stuff like that. Second episode, I got in with Nightwalker, and we did we did a patrol together, and had a pretty bad bug that happened in the game where we couldn't clear a scene. So, I took care of that. <laughs> Best way I knew how. another one back there and I can't focus on him. He doesn't look much bigger than this one if he is bigger. Oh, that moves down for sure. Oh, show. So we've got a bear. We've got the white tail.
We've got a rabbit. We've got a moose so far. Oh, 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 oh. There he is, a silver. Not a bad looking moose. Got him high lung. High lung, low spine. Deer's gone. Moose is gone. Rabbit's gone. Bear's gone. I believe all I'm going for the rest of this episode is the turkey, the bobcat, and the fox. Alright, let's put the 22 up for now. Let's pull out a 223 since I'm going for fox and bobcat now. Alright, I hadn't seen anything in a while, just had a moose run from me, a level 3 moose. While I'm running. So I decided since I saw this hen, Mallard, sitting over here, I'd go ahead and take her. Might as well, might as well. And Mallard. There's my bobcat. Nice. Gold oh, bobcat oh, too. Oh. First shot did go a little far back, but the second shot nailed it. There he is, 106 yards, level 4 fox. And he's dead. Nice, fox marked off. Marking it off right now. That's my pen. Marking it off right now. Fox off the list. All we have left is a turkey. We'll be finished with this episode. 106 yards and took that fox down just like... Like it was nothing. Had it been a good shot. I think he was standing there and I blew him that far away. <laughs> All right, flesh, right lung, left lung, got a double lunger. Good shot. He is a silver, the dark red. Looks so much better than the other foxes to me. I don't really like the real fluffy look. That looks a lot more realistic to the foxes. Of course, I don't break my 7mm. I have a level 6 bear.
Ain't no way this pistol killed that bear from this far away. Gonna find out though. Oh my gosh, can you believe I got a vital hit on that from that far with a pistol? That's awesome. Let's see how this works out. Man, that's crazy. That's just that was a long shot with a uh, with a with a handgun. Long shot. Oh, there he is, right there. Oh, wrong ammo. It was a silver. Look at that. Lung shot from 259 yards with a pistol. We are now at the three hour mark recording. Still haven't found another turkey. Still haven't ran into a coon yet. <laughs> I'm really not too worried about the raccoon right now. My main concern and my target animal is the turkey. To finish this episode. Alright, we may have got a sarcoon. Wasn't a vital hit, but I mean hey, it checks it off the list. Even though it wasn't even on the list. There it is. Ooh, ooh. We got him. Bronze mill. He would have been a silver with the right ammo and a vital shot. Got a gold. Dude, that is beautiful. May just be a hen, but hey, it's a pheasant. I said on the birds, I really don't care right now. Not after them anyway. Nice.
He's hit. Come on, Blue, I need you, man. This is four hours of recording. We gotta find him. Come on, man, let's find this turkey. Come on, Blue, there's a treat in there for you. There it is. We did oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. We got all the checklist animals. A gold, too. Oh, what a way to end it. Oh. And here we are, guys. Scott free after getting everything on the list. Man, oh man. I'm going to have to come back to this map and do all birds. Make sure I get all the bird species, which I got quite a few of them today, but there was a couple that I did not get. All in all, it was a fun episode to make. It was four hours recording time, exactly. It's 4.01 right now. Four hours, one minute. But anyway, we came in today with the mission to get all the animals on the list from the animals that I've seen that was on this map. I wanted all the four-legged animals. Um, ended up getting the deer, ended up getting the moose, ended up getting the rabbit, uh, ended up getting the turkey because it's, you know, considered big game. Uh, got a bear, we got a bobcat, we got a fox, we got a raccoon, we got a hen duck, and a hen pheasant. We did not get the quail, and we didn't get the, uh, I believe, what is it that's on this? The other duck. We ended up not getting it, but that's okay, because we're going to come back and we're going to get the birds later. If you enjoyed this episode, please show me some love, leave a like, subscribe. Hopefully... Y'all are enjoying the content. If you are, please comment. Let me know. Give me any suggestions of games that y'all would like to see me try to play. Uh, I will definitely look into them. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.